Hello everyone. Now let's talk about Wireshark. So Wireshark is most popularly used a network protocol analyzer. So with the help of Wireshark, we can capture the internet packets which is going in and going out from our system. So it's the most popularly used software used for capturing the internet packets, mainly TCP IP internet packets. Now let's see how we can capture some packets by using Wireshark. Now let's see how Wireshark works. In order to start Wireshark, we have to start our Kali Linux and even if you want to use Wireshark in Windows, you can download Wireshark from their official website. But in the Kali Linux, it's already installed. In or so in order to run Wireshark, open the terminal and write down here Wireshark and hit enter. So every time you run the Wireshark, this error will come. So you have to ignore this. Okay. So well, I told you earlier that Wireshark can capture the packet on a particular interface. But what's the interface? What is the interface? So interface is nothing but just your internet connection. So if your Kali Linux is installed in virtual box, then your interface should be ETH0, ETH0. And if you are, if you have connected your Kali Linux through your Wi-Fi, then your interface should be WLAN0. And if you want to sniff the packets to the local host, then you have to select this interface, loopback interface. But right now, my Kali Linux is actually connected with the ETH0 interface. So here you can see the activity that the packets are coming, going in, going out. So you can see a little bit activity here at ETH0. Now in order to sniff the packets or to capture the packets on this interface, you have to select this. You can just click over here, this icon. Otherwise, you can just double click on this interface. So as soon as I double click, here you can see the list of packets which is going in and going out. The result you can see is actually divided into different columns. Here you can see the number of packets, their time and destination that where they are going and the protocol which they are using and information regarding a particular packet. Now just for example, let's ping google.com and we'll see the packets which is coming in and out and these packets are being captured by Wireshark. And if I scroll down, you can see the packet, echo ping, ping request and ping reply. So this source, you can see a source here. This is my Kali Linux IP address and this is the destination IP. So this is the IP of google.com and the protocol is ICMP. And in order to find or to in order to read a detailed information about each and every packet, just select that packet and here are some packet header information. So it's frame, ethernet header, internet protocol. So let's read this. In the internet protocol header, you can just check the source address and the destination address and the destination GOIP location also, the location of google.com or the location of this IP, United States. And in the last, there is a header of ICMP also. You can check the ICMP protocol header. So it's a type 8 header. And here you can see echo ping request. And if I scroll down, you can just also check the timestamp and also data, which is coming in and out. And the size also 48 bytes. Here you can see the data and its length. And at the bottom, here is some hex values you can see. So actually this data is present in the hex values. So the work of Wireshark is to parse this data in of hex data to parse the hex data into this text one. So even if you just select any part of hex data, you can see that that part of text will automatically select it. If I just click over here, you can see. So this is how you can use Wireshark to capture the packets which is coming in and going out from your network. Thanks for watching this video.